Mrs Taylor here. For this lesson, you are going to listen to a piece of music by an American composer called George Gershwin. And this is part of the BBC's 10 pieces called Trailblazers. George Gershwin was thought of as a trailblazer. Do you know what the word trailblazer might mean? Well, it was that he was the first to do something and he was the first composer who took the sounds of jazz and put them into classical music for the very first time. Here are some words that you will come across and need to think about when you are listening to the music. So when you are listening to the piece of music, you need to think about the, the volume, whether the music is getting louder and quieter. Can you hear a tune repeated quite often? What instruments can you hear? You will be able to hear what we call some pitched percussion. So um, glockenspiel, xylophones, chime bars. The piece of music you are going to listen to will make a collage of sounds. Right, and what we call a soundscape. Also consider, does the music get louder? Um, does the music get louder and softer, but also does it speed up or does it slow down? A bit of background on George Gershwin. As you can see, he was born in the late 1800s and died in 1937. You can work out how old he was. He was writing songs from the age of 19 with his brother and he wrote some of the most famous songs of the 20th century. Rhapsody in Blue is called a crossover between classical music and jazz music. It features a very, very famous clarinet solo, which Gershwin didn't particularly write first of all, it was improvised by the player playing the clarinet. Mainly, his ideas came to him for writing the music on a train journey as he was travelling America. And his travels across America inspired him to write music about America, to capture the spirit of America. What I'd like you to do now is to click on the link to watch the orchestral performance. If you click on the link, it will take you to uh, the BBC website, where you will then be able to click on another link here to listen to the piece of music. Whilst you are listening to that piece of music, I want you to make a note of any instruments that you can hear playing, the speed of the music. Can you hear that clarinet tune repeated? Does the music get louder and quieter? I'll leave you to listen to that piece of music now. And when you're done, come back for the next task. So you've listened to the piece of music Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. It describes a bustling city, much like New York in America. Did you hear that repeating sound? What did you think it was? Gershwin thought that he was creating the sounds of sirens and horns that you could hear constantly from the traffic in New York. But you might have thought of something else. What I want you to do now is just to have a go at destroying that bustling city that is being described by the music. Go back and click the link if you want to listen to the music again. And when you've drawn your piece of your picture, can you label it with the sounds that you've heard, the instruments that you've heard, and whether you the music gets louder and quieter? Enjoy the piece of music. It's one of my favourites. Have fun. Bye for now.